this equation is now fix our $200 profit of 401 bike sales of the RBC or not. So let's see that here. So if you put the values here, answer is verified profit is 200. So we verified our equation that profit is equal to CM per unit multiplied by quantity minus fixed cost. So why we did not write the total fixed cost? Because we cannot rely on per unit fixed cost. So whether we write it on total fixed cost or whether we write it on fixed cost, fixed cost remain same in total. Okay, our second learning objective is prepare and interpret cost, volume, profit graph and profit graph. So let's just talk about this. So we have a situation here. We will plot the graph here. So this is the unit sold, number of units. Let me change the color here. Yeah. So this is the number of units sold. 0, 200, 400, and 600, right? Cost, volume, profit analysis. And this is the profit. When we sell nothing, we're still having a loss. When we sell 200, less than, uh, this is 200, we have a loss of 40,000. When we sell 400, we have a loss of we have zero, we have break even here. And when we sell for uh, 600, we have a 40,000 profit. So let's just plot this. So on Y axis, we have dollar amount and on X axis, we have units amount. So if we plot that, first we plot units versus the, uh, uh, the, um, the profit. So it will be if we plot the fixed cost, fixed cost remains the same, right? If we plot, here we go. So 400 and draw the line here, it would be like this. So profit on zero quantity, profit is on zero, on 100 quantity. Okay, sorry, this is total expense, total cost, sorry. So total cost, which is variable plus fix. Our interest is on here. This is the sales. Yeah, our interest is on sale minus total cost, the profit. So you see here, the break even point is the point where profit is equal to zero. What does it mean? It means total sales is equal to total revenue is equal to total cost. Right? Total revenue minus total cost is profit. If profit is zero, we rearrange the, the equation. Answer would be total revenue is equal to total cost. So this is the point where total revenue is equal to total cost. So that intersection of total cost and total revenue is the break even point. Below this point, in between, in between this, let me change the color here. In between this triangle, blue and green, this triangle is a loss. And between these lines, this is the profit. And profit is still in volume, it's increasing. Right? So from graph, how we can find out the break even? We plot total cost, we plot total sales, the point where total cost and total revenue intersects each other, that part is break even. Right? So this area between the lines is called profit and this area between the lines is called loss. So if we just plot the profit line, that's it. So we on zero, the profit is minus 60. So you see this is a zero here, so below minus, <coughs> minus 60,000. On 200, it is 40,000. On 300, it's like this. So, <coughs> so 
So this is the profit line here. So a profit line, so even a simpler form of CVP analysis is called profit graph. So when you, you see here, the profit graph, where it touches the zero is over break even. So you see it touches at 400. So this is zero. We know that if we want to find out where is our zero profit because profit is on the y axis, number of units sell on the x axis. So where profit is zero, so that line which crosses the zero point of the profit is called break even. Above that, it is a profit line. Below that, it is a loss line. Right? So this is just a graph. So that was not very much important, but still important. So I just explain it. So most important thing is our learning objective three. So let's just talk about that. Use the contribution margin ratio to compute changes in contribution margin and net operating income resulting from changes in sale volume. And that's very important stuff. Let's spend some more time here. We will be doing some breakout room activity as well. So we know that RBC the example here, the same contribution margin format in which we are selling 500 bikes. So total sales are 250,000. Total cost 150,000. 100,000 is contribution margin, 80,000 is fixed cost and 20,000 is net of earning income. So can we also convert Per unit CM ratio, CM to per unit CM ratio. Yes, we can do that. So how we can convert? How 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 the sixty percent came from? So everything divided by sales. So five hundred divided by sales. Five hundred. Three hundred divided by five hundred, and two hundred divided by five hundred. So you get the answer, this is 100%. 300 divided by 500 answer would be 60% and 200 divided by 500 answer would be 40%. So remember, if you wanna convert the contribution margin into a ratio, the ratio would be CM per unit divided by sales. Or what if you are given, if you are not given the CM, we know that CM is equal to sale minus variable cost. So sale is 100%, variable cost is 60%. So naturally, CM ratio would be 40%. Right? So you can also calculate like this. Right? So you can also calculate the CM on dollar basis as well. So where this 40% is coming from, we know that 100,000 is our CM divided by sales. So 100,000 divided by 250,000 answer is 40%. So whether you believe uh, or whether you take units, or whether you take the whole numbers, dollar amount, answer would be say either, either 300 divided by 500 or either 150 divided by 500, answer would be 60%. Either 100,000 divided by the 250,000 or 200 divided by 500, answer would be 40%. Right? So we can also convert CM per unit into CM ratio as well. So if CM ratio, if we want to solve the, that profit equation in, in which we say that CM per unit multiplied by quantity minus fixed cost. So can we say that this is CM ratio? Can we convert it to, into CM ratio? Yes, in that case, that would be not the quantity that that would be the total sales. So let's see that. So we can convert CM ratio, CM ratio is equal to CM per unit, sale price per unit, answer is 40%. So CM ratio can also be calculated by dividing the contribution margin per unit divided by the selling price per unit. Now, answer is, if the racing bike cycle, uh, uh, bicycle increases the sales by 50,000, so recall our discussion when we talk about the CM per unit and we saw its application. So whatever, whatever left after covering fixed cost directly goes to the contribution margin. 
uh, sorry to the net operating income similarly we can also see that in terms of cm ratio how much sale is above the break even sales the cm ratio per unit is based on per unit sales how many units we sell above the break even unit here there are 100 units 100 multiply by 20 200 answer is 20000 but if we want to see that in cm ratio terms we don't see the units we see only total sales so total sales break even is 200000 and above how much we sell above the break even 250000 minus 200000 answer is 50000 we know that to 40% is break uh, 40% is the cm ratio so 40% of above the break even sale directly you can find out easily the net operating income which